How to get sterile water for wounds when the hospitals or tombs, the pharmacies are looted, and that gash in your leg is starting to smell interesting. That's a nasty cut. In the old world, that meant a bandage and maybe a tetanus shot. Now it's a gaping welcome mat for every flesh-eating bacteria and mutated amoeba in a 10-mile radius. Pouring puddle water on it is just inviting more guests to the party. You need something pure. It's time to distill your own medical grade water. First, get a fire going and find a pot. Fill it with the filthiest water you can find. River scum, radioactive rain, that three-headed dog just peed in. It doesn't matter. Place a smaller, empty cup in the middle of the pot. Make sure the rim sits above the disgusting water line. Now, find a lid for the pot. A piece of sheet metal, a hubcap, frying pan. Place the lid on upside down so the hand handle or center points points down towards the empty cup. This next part is the actual science. Subscribe if you want to understand why this isn't just a waste of a hubcap. Good. Now put something cool on top of the lid. Some snow, some rocks from a shady spot, anything. As your filth water boils, it turns to steam. The science is simple. Steam is pure H2O. It leaves the germs, the dirt, and even the heavy radioactive particles behind in the boiling pot of despair. Bear. This clean steam hits the cold underside of your lid and condenses back into liquid. And because you were clever enough to put the lid on upside down, the pure sterile water drips right down into your little collection cup. You now have a small amount of perfectly sterile water. Use it to clean out that wound. Congratulations. You've successfully delayed your inevitable death by infection by maybe a day.